Home Run for Atari 2600. This is from 1978. I had this game back in the 80s when I played Atari all the time, and it was old back then. Now this is really old. And you know what? This is one of my favorite baseball video games. In fact, it may be my absolute favorite, because I generally don't like baseball video games. The more advanced baseball games get, the more they turn into strategy simulators rather than actual fun games. I like the old school baseball games. I'm not really much of a baseball fan, so I like to keep things simple. You throw a ball in this game, the guy hits it. If one of your blocks gets it and then runs over to the other block that's running to a base, it's an out. You can also throw curveballs at the last second. There's a couple different game variations in Home Run. It's a one or two player game. I'm playing against the computer here, which is not terribly challenging. There are two difficulty settings though. Thanks to that handy A and B switch. This game is best played against a friend where the playing field is really evened out. It's the simplicity that makes this game so much damn fun. You can rack up ridiculous scores, and you can hit the batter in the head, which is what I just did. I'm playing as the yellow team. Since this is not a Major League Baseball licensed video game, you can make up your own teams. I'm the classic game room Eel Falcons. The Eel Falcon is a mythical creature that's half eel and half falcon. I just made it up now. They're very powerful birds, and they shoot electricity. Home Run is extremely easy to find today. There's a couple cartridge variations out there. I have the picture label cartridge because I'm awesome. I don't want to just be told that I'm playing Home Run with text. I want to actually see baseball players. Something to give me a visual picture of what real baseball looks like when I'm playing Home Run, although then I'm reminded that real baseball is not nearly as much fun as playing Home Run. I just talked myself in a circle. I'm playing against the blue team. The team with no name. They try to strike fear into the hearts of their opponent by not having a name. It doesn't work because I'm crushing them. I know how to use the difficulty switch on the Atari. Let's hit the handy dandy select button on the Atari 2600 and find a different game, one with more baseball players in the outfield. Gameplay doesn't really change all that much. And if you've played any Atari games, you know how this stuff works. Home Run is one of those games that you'll probably end up with when you're not even looking. It'll just appear in your collection one day. It'll be sitting there right next to E.T. smiling. It's a fun game to break out during a party with some friends. It brings back some memories back when we used to sit on the floor in front of televisions that were carved out of giant blocks of wood full of static and play Home Run on Atari 2600. I like their one-handed batting technique. They should try that in real life. Let's see how many of the opposing players I can injure. No matter what game I'm playing, I always try to break something. Home run for the Atari 2600. Check it out.